right, welcome back. We're working through solutions on the exam, for the mock exam, rather, for the exam coming up. And uh, we're at question 19. It's a bit of a longer one, and I'm trying to smash it onto this, this page here. So here we go. The following two questions are regarding the piecewise rule, H. Okay, piecewise just means we've taken our graph and we've, we've broken it into two pieces. And this rule is going to describe those two pieces. So here's piece one. It's four. So whenever we plug in a number that's less than or equal to zero, we always give out four. Okay, so I can let's graph this already. So when we plug in anything negative, that's this left hand side. Right? Here's zero, x equals zero. When we plug in anything less than or equal to zero, what do we get out? we get 4 out. So here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4. So when we plug in 0, this first piece says we get 0. Or sorry, we get 4. When we plug in anything less than 0, we also get 4 out. So this is just a horizontal line going to the left. It doesn't continue to the right. It's, it starts at that y equals 4 location right above the origin and goes to the left. It doesn't go to the right because this is the first piece which explains anything for inputs less than or equal to 0 and the things to the right are for things bigger than 0. And that's the second piece of our piecewise rule. So let's maybe look at that second rule now. It says when x is greater than or equal to 0, we have a different rule now. It's negative x plus 5. So we can graph that. That has a y-intercept of 5. If we plugged in x equals 0, we, got, we would get 5. And this is a line with slope negative 1. So it goes down 1 over 1, down 1 over 1 down one over one. That's that second rule. Okay, so I've, I've actually graphed the incorrect function because part A to this question says H is not actually a function. Describe a change you can make to make it into a function. The issue here is just it's just the definition of a function. A function for any input can only give one output. We had a rule called the, hor the, the vertical line test. We had a test that said if you can draw a vertical line somewhere and it touches the graph in two places, uh -oh, right there, then you do not have a function. So I've graphed a vertical line on the left side. I could keep going on the right side, but I wouldn't get multiple intersections. It's at that x equals 0 location where we get a double touch. We get a double intersection. That's why it's not a rule, or that's why it's, why it's not a function. If we plugged in x equals 0, if we plug in x equals 0, we get both 4 and 5. That's not okay. So what can we do in words? Change one of the inequalities to a strict inequality. Okay. What that means is take one of these less than or equal to or greater than or equal to just one of them and change it into that or change this other one into that. Okay, Either one of them, doesn't matter. That's a change you could make. But there's others. You could change the second rule to negative x plus 4. What does that do? It, it shifts your graph on the right side down 1. 
So it would now look like this one. And is that a function? Yes, it is. Because now when we plug in 0, what do we get? We get 4 for both rules, but they both agree. So we only get one output. We get 4. So we could, option number 1, change one of the inequalities to a strict inequality. Option 2, we could change our second equation to x negative x plus 4. Option 3, we could change the first equation to 5. Option 4, we could change both of the inequalities and there's more you could come up with tons of there's an unlimited number of things you could do you could, you could I guess it does maybe not describe one change okay make one change so maybe we can't change both that's two changes and then maybe you know, I think these other ones work. So these three options, maybe there's there's probably more as well that you could change to get yourself a function. And then whatever you do, you've just got to make sure you've got uh, the graph correct. So for option one, I'm just going to erase that circle there. I'm gonna I'm going to uh, change the top one to this less than sign. Okay, so I'm going to correct that to be just a less than sign, which means for x less than, so open circle there, we'd have a closed circle up here. Sorry, that open circle is at a height of 4. It's not at a height of 3.5. <laughs> okay, so that's option 1. Option 2 was green line. Just drop that second equation down 1. Option three, what I'll do is the brown line. It's to raise the left hand side up one. And that was option three. Okay, so there I've graphed all three possible changes that we could have made. I hope that helps. Uh, I'll be back with more solutions in the next video.